Hey everyone, this is Jaxie, and today we are going to get excited about history with Panzer Corps. And this scenario is the Danzig Corridor, because we got a decisive victory last time on Poznan, we get to attack here in the southern part. And so, right from the get-go, I'm going to use my Stukas, and I'm noticing that the Polish cavalry groups out in front are actually at half strength so it looks like these first few objectives are going to be easy i am always going to take that and right now just doing some scouting hitting things from the air not a great result there but we will take anything we can get and right there i will take a minus two on a weakened unit easy got to move the infantry up and i want to do some scouting there's a lot of forests and some mountain hexes coming up, so I want to make sure I'm not going to have artillery get caught out or anything like that. And in fact, due to the terrain, I actually can't deploy my artillery right now, so I'm going to have to move up all of my armored units, get them out of the way, then I can start shifting the artillery. And I would like to take two of these objectives on the first turn if I can. And so I really want to be deliberate... I might get lucky here, let's see. And I do. The recon unit will take one damage, but you know what? Easy objective, I'm gonna get some extra prestige. And I open up a little bit of deployment right there. And that is nice. Now my artillery can move up. They have a completely suppressed, very weakened unit. And looking at those estimates, even my tanks would be able to take it out in a city hex. And I'm going to try to do just that. It actually works. Thank you, artillery. Now, I'm moving my anti-tank unit up. They can actually take hexes and switch ownership. Artillery cannot. So that's an important difference between the anti-tank and the artillery. I'm going to move this artillery down in case I want to wait till next turn. Nah, let's just go for it. Not bad. It doesn't clear them out, but I also don't take casualties, so not a bad estimate. I do have some auxiliary forces in the north with artillery and tank support, and you'll notice here, they actually start off overstacked, and that allows me to just completely wipe out those units. And that is beautiful. I won't always overstack units, at least in the beginning. If you guys think that's a good idea, bad idea, feel free to leave a comment. But normally, I find that units get grinded down so fast it's not worth it. Unless maybe you're doing it on artillery. And first turn, no big response by Poland. I will take it and just keep going with the offensive. And right there, oh, entrenched anti-air guns, just like last time. And oof, rugged defense. I don't take any casualties, but it just completely wasted that Panzer's movement. Not good. I'm going to send these guys to the east here. I just, oh, another rugged defense. I can't win. No casualties, though. Could have been worse. I just want to defend the flank. I don't want them to come up behind and it hit that auxiliary artillery unit, which that is a mouthful. Now, I want to take that town because it will give me more prestige. It's a minor objective, but you do get prestige for minor objectives. I just, that's real low odds. I'm going to hold off on that. My fighters do their thing. And I actually eliminate them with artillery. And now I can start moving up, capturing some territory. And I'm going to scout ahead. I'm not going to throw them out in trucks just yet. There's just too many hill hexes and woods hexes where I can't see what's happening. I really don't want my trucks to get ambushed. That's one of the best ways to take horrific casualties is having a truck get attacked by something you can't see and didn't know was there. 
And it looks like on the actual objectives, Poland has some full-size cavalry. They have some anti-tank guns, but they're on river hexes. I think as we get closer to our objectives, they're going to start putting up a little bit stiffer of a defense. So I have to be very deliberate here in moving units up. And there, wow, they really don't want tanks advancing that way. That's crazy. But on river hexes, even an armored car will have favorable combat results. Although now I see an artillery. So one thing to note, even if you can't see artillery, you can have it affect the battle. And so my combat estimate there would have been really wrong and that armored car would have been chewed up. Here, mm, I don't know. They're good infantry. I just don't know if I want such an attritional battle. I have weakened that artillery, but it's still scary. Attacking in the cities is scary. I have a lot of artillery support. I have a lot of air support, but it's going to take time. And... I think I'm going to save all those attacks. I just don't want to get into city fighting. And right here, it looks like Poland is going to launch a bit of a counteroffensive. Oh, there's some 7 TPs. So, Poland is bringing out their standard tank unit. Ooh, Stukas are taking some anti-air fire. Yeah, they're starting to launch counterattacks. They're not just going to concede this as easily as I thought. Oh, fantastic artillery strike. So effective against that 7TP. Unfortunately, my very weak Panzer was not going to get the results I need. But maybe... Well, I don't know. Do I want to finish off a unit or do as much damage as possible? I see about this artillery. No, I can't quite kill it, unfortunately. Right there. Even though it's a city hex, nice and weak, gives me some points. And maybe with artillery support, I can start shifting this anti-air gun, use my infantry, overstacked against a suppressed unit. Maybe I'll get something there. Because if I can hit this artillery from behind, I'll weaken everything they have. Let's see, do I want that or do I want the anti-air and take the airfield? I'll chew it over for a minute. I do have time to decide. Let's see, 38T, nope. City hexes are just real rough on panzers. But this cavalry defending a river hex, oh, yeah, never mind, they have artillery support. I'm going to have to think about that. See what sort of suppression I can get. Okay, so not only did I not have any hits on the artillery, I've discovered they have even more reserves. So they have a protected cavalry unit, even if it's exposed on a river. They have anti-tank guns. They have tankettes in reserve. Hmm, this is, this is going to be a thinker. I really enjoy scenarios like this, where what you see initially is not the case, and it's going to be a tougher mission than I thought. And right there, fighters are able to take out the 7TP. That's one problem down. I still have to grind down their two artillery units, and that way I can start hitting everything they have on those river hexes. And even a one-step artillery, I'm just not going to want to mess with that anti-tank gun yet. We'll finish off that unit. Move up a little bit. I really don't want those pioneers to get ambushed yeah i'm gonna do the conservative thing right there no reason to waste combat power at least not on turn three maybe in later turns i'll get stupid and brave and right there get rid of the anti-air gun now my stukas can be a little braver rest a little easier And, oh, with one step of artillery, I thought I'd get something better than that. But I don't. That anti-tank gun, though, is almost done. It is still sitting on a river hex. 
That's not worthwhile. That's not worthwhile. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see if my estimates are correct. They took four and they took five. Oh, Recon Battalion. You really led me astray there. Oh, I wanted that prestige, but it's not going to be worth it. If I have to repair that unit mid-fight, I'm going to lose out trying to take that city. Poland tries to counterattack again. Even results on the tankettes versus infantry. Let's see how they do. Even results on the tankettes versus the armored cars. Cavalry come in. Ooh, I'll take that. Oh, never mind. That wasn't worth it. That armored car is in danger. Oh, that Panzer got hit really hard. Man, I know it's an auxiliary unit, but that's rough. And my armored cars are almost dead. Oh, they're down to one step. This counterattack is rough. Hitting me with anti-tank from the air or the mountains. Oof. I just don't know. Let's see if I can get this unit out of here. Two steps. Ah. Oh. Two steps. Well, I could have finished it off, but I wanted that artillery gone. And then I don't have to worry about it anymore. At least that unit starts off weak. I'll take one casualty on an auxiliary unit. And right here, ah, uh, 88 prestige. Do I do it? Yep. I'm allowing myself to get into this kind of Pyrrhic victory. I'm going to take that objective if it kills me, even though it's already been not worth it. Suppress them. There's been so many counterattacks, I just have to move slowly. See what my Stukas can do if they can wear down some of that artillery for Poland. Cycle out my air units. One nice thing they change in order of battle is air units can attack and then shift off hex. In Panzer Corps, unless an air unit starts on top of a hex, you're not going to be able to hit units with more than one air. And so, won't be able to bring everything I have to bear, but I'm getting there. If I can get something over the river and start attacking that artillery, we'll be getting somewhere. And right here, not sure where my Stukas are. I'm trying to find the second one. I know where my artillery is. Know where my fighters are. There's one Stuka. Not finding the other one. Sometimes this happens to me in the game. Just too many units, too many layers. Get lost. So I'm going to do other moves for now. Let's see if I can destroy these tankettes. And almost. So close. But I'm going to bring in my pioneers. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see. On River Hex. And we do. No casualties. I will take that in a heartbeat. Oh, it's suppressed, maybe? Four. Four for nothing. That is not bad at all. Where is that Stuka? I swear. Oh, there it is. I had it refilling way, way at the other end of the map. So it does have fuel, but it can't even reach the things I wanted to reach anyway. But maybe it can take out this unit, save me a turn, and it does. So Stuka was a bit of a headache to find, but that's okay. It did what it's supposed to in the end. Well, now if the fighter's all I can get here, one damage, not bad for the artillery. It's still not enough to give me a huge combat advantage against those cavalry units though so i'm gonna have to hold off on doing anything useful there although yep they're pretty suppressed let's see ouch i do not like that result that's not good maybe i don't know if i move up the tank they're gonna hit me with that 
anti-tank unit. So as much as I want to, to get concentric bonuses, I just, not sure. I think I'm going to call it a turn for now. And let's see, they're going to artillery me, are they going to try to counterattack? They do, but I don't know why they're hitting a much stronger unit. And more Polish cavalry comes in. Oh, it never ends. And that infantry is barely going to make it out. And the cavalry across the map hits my artillery from behind. And more cavalry. Oh. Oh, those units are so fast. They must have been hiding in the mountains. Man. This is, this is a fun one. I'm really enjoying this. It's kind of, kind of scary at times, but, oof. and right there, this unit is having no luck, but they are, they are really pressing me with these counterattacks, even though this is a Polish scenario, they are not just laying down and dying, they're going to make me work for this, oh, I enjoy this game, might as well try for something, nope, nothing doing, Retreat, refuel. And this artillery. Oh, it's so weak. I didn't even think I was going to get damage out of it. I got to try to bring some units up. They're even putting in newer infantry. Oh, let's try to counterattack and save my artillery. Whew. Can't even take out one cavalry unit. And I'm going to have to throw in my actual core force not just my auxiliaries try to salvage this let's take out the cavalry they can move farther if i'm trying to save the artillery that's smarter than taking out that anti-tank gun get rid of those tankettes although they do give me one last forget you man but that's fine that's fine can't even oh, oh those auxiliary panzer twos couldn't even do a one step anti-tank unit oh they're doing me rotten this is kind of a costly attack but i'm gonna have to take it i just really don't want to lose that artillery unit i know it's auxiliary but any artillery i can have if the fighting gets bad in these cities i'm gonna want everything i can get and more support artillery. It's just all over. I bet there's some behind that anti tank unit too. Crazy. Crazy setup. I like it. I like the bait that you're going to want to attack units on the river hex. But if you do, that artillery is going to get you. And you guys will notice I am much less stubborn in this game. I'm just having to spend the prestige. Most of my units are upgraded as much as I can and as much as I'd want to. And I still have 787 prestige. So I'm not going to be as stingy for now. But hopefully that doesn't bite me as I get some upgrade opportunities. Moving this artillery is a little scary. But I want to be able to hit them. Ah. Oh. Even suppress, nothing I could do. I just, I need to be able to hit them with something next to me. And that's a real lucky result. Maybe those pioneers will be able to get me some sort of flank. I don't know. I, I need some sort of edge. This is starting to bog down. It's only turn five. But it's going to take me a few turns to dig out their artillery. To either get behind them or hit them with stukas. So let's see what the AI will do. Suppress me. Suppress me. No follow-ups, though. And they actually move their artillery up into a river hex. I don't know what that's about, but I will take it. Oh, I'm happy with that result. Yeah, let's suppress you and let's hit you with everything I can. And, oh, the 3080, not quite strong enough. And zone of control, oh, they're not going to let me get there. They retake that town, I'm not going to be able to follow up. This is, this is a frustrating game. It's fun, but it's frustrating. It's really making me think. Let's see, anti-tank, 
can't even dig out one infantry. So I have to waste a panzer on it. And the panzer takes a casualty. Oh. Man. No luck. Well, I'll get some extra prestige there. Gonna blast that unit. There we go. Tank ats in a city. That's a result I need. That artillery is full strength. I'm just gonna pull back. Not gonna take excess casualties. Maybe I can hit it from behind, but the problem is that infantry unit, as soon as I attack, they're gonna get counterattacked for free because I'm gonna be out of ammo. It's just nothing easy. But here, at least if the Luftwaffe starts attacking, I can eventually attrition those artillery units down, cross over, and maybe at one of these three crossings, I can start bringing superior numbers to bear. All right, let's see what I can do. So five casualties, and it shifts them away from the border crossing. Uh, two is still pretty heavy. So I'm just going to take some points and try to finish off this northern area. That's become my Stalingrad. That is such a waste. I don't know why I keep doing it. At this point, though, I've invested so much. I just have to see a good result. It's kind of sunk cost fallacy at that point. Let's see. Maybe I'll get lucky here, get a two result. Or a zero. That's what you get for using fighters as a bomber roll. Move up. And maybe I can finally kill... Nope! It's an anti-tank unit on a river hex, attacked by infantry, and it's suppressed. And just nothing doing. At least there we go. Oh, and it was one of my core units, so it's going to get experience, too. That's nice. And right there. Good. Finally, some results to make up for some of the stuff that's been happening. And this artillery unit's safe. Even though it's weak, it can still at least suppress the enemy. And I'm going to move up. Get my units ready. I don't know. That hex is tempting, but... No, I should protect the artillery. Not worth it if that cavalry gets feisty. I do have a lot of prestige. I'm almost at a thousand now, but no point in getting super wasteful. Let's just use the Luftwaffe. I have a nice new airfield down south now. Get that anti-tank gun almost destroyed. And maybe... Let's see. Gotta resupply you. What do I want to do? What's most efficient? It's starting to look better. I'm happy. There. Suppress them, River Hex. But an anti-tank unit, not good enough. And now I've already moved that Pioneer... I don't want to expose the 38T, not when it's only down to 4 strength. But maybe I can get this cavalry out of here and then I won't have to worry about flanking attacks. There we go. And without artillery support in the open, what can I do? Nothing. Nothing is the answer there. Oh man, this game. It is truly messing with me. I'll at least take that objective, though. Happy to. I am pushing for the decisive victory, so we'll see what we can do. And that tank, it's weak. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but I'm also thankful it doesn't take a lot. We have recon on that city. I'm going to take the prestige. Try to dig those tank hats out. And they're not going to budge, but they are going to die soon. So not a horrible result. I'll certainly take it. Getting to the point where I don't want to lose too many units attacking these cities, so I just got to take it slow, figure out the most efficient way to close the ring, and a rugged defense. The battle still goes on. 
That is the most effort for the tiniest objective. If you guys are playing this, don't get sucked into stuff like that. Like, I clearly have 1100 prestige. I have enough prestige, I don't have to bother with it. I'm just being stubborn. It's really interesting how in war games you, you make your own little Stalingrads. You invest so much into trying to take something that you just don't want to give it up. And usually it is not the move. Although I did have a game of Decisive Campaigns Case Blue where I tried to take Saratov and sever the Soviets' command. And I lost some Panzer units doing it, but... I just didn't give up, and it actually worked out for me. It didn't become my Stalingrad. It became Russia's downfall. I did sever their supply lines, and I won way earlier in a play-by-email game. Usually, it doesn't work out. My Stukas, though, are wonderful. They're going to clear that hex for me. The tankettes are going to try to repair, but when you repair a unit mid-combat, they did change this from the very, very early version of the game. Repairing mid-combat will actually weaken your units. It'll put them into a suppressed state. So they get extra steps, but I should be able to do plenty of damage. And that Stuka uses its ammo on nothing, doing nothing. However, I have concentric attacks except for that 10 strength infantry in the city i think some of this is winding down weakened 38t it's going to successfully take out the cavalry and let's see if i can blast these tank guys almost i don't take casualties though so i can't complain another objective down and where do i want you let's try to take out this artillery it's going to retreat, maybe if I get lucky, and not quite. Going to need another turn on that one. And my anti-tank still cannot finish off the enemy. But at least their artillery is down. I'm going to take a free hit, though, if the unit in the city wants to counterattack. Hopefully that weakened artillery can eventually suppress them. So far, it doesn't. But I'm going to move units up to start getting a concentric bonus. And try to dig them out. Right there, pioneers attacking entrenchments. It's about the best I can hope for. And there we go. Waste an auxiliary unit. Why not? They're only so valuable. Do I finally get my objective? And I do... Oh, Volks, you were the least important city I ever spent that much effort on. Next unit button, eh, two for two, not worth it. I still have some turns, it's only turn nine. Anytime, game. Thank you. All right. So, I have plenty of artillery. They only have a few units left. Most of them are city objectives. I'm going to have to refuel, resupply. Let's see. Yeah, start the attrition. I'll take that. And I don't know why the AI, I guess it didn't want to lose entrenchment, didn't attack my units. That's fine, though. That's going to give me time to get in position. I'm not going to worry about those tank ads. That's small potatoes. Let's start trying to dig out their entrenchments. They're really weak. But, oh, do I want to supply? No, I'll do it later. Let's see if I can take them out. Well, they move. I'm going to have to call that a win. Wasting our auxiliary unit on that. And there's really not much left. I'm going to take that for the prestige. Probably should have thrown that panzer behind. But I'm going to attack with this one. That way I don't have to take the river casualties. I just want to make sure they don't retake any objectives. They can do that. And it will frustrate in advance if you're not ready for it. 
I know they still have an anti-tank gun floating around, but luckily anti-tank guns only move like one hex a turn, so I don't think they can get to anything behind my lines. And since it's turn 9, I do have time to array my offensive, and that's what I'm going to do. I don't think they have anything left to counterattack, so I just have to resupply all my artillery. Make sure I can hit them from as many sides as possible. And that way I'm going to get some nice concentric bonuses. Let's see. Move my units up. Although, really, I don't know. I don't even need the artillery. I have so many infantry and a lot of them are experienced. I'm not sure. No, let's wait for the artillery. I have time. They don't have anything. Mm. I'm so wishy-washy. Let's just end it. Why not? Two casualties. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. And a rugged defense. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Will the game punish me for my hubris? Oh, it might. There we go. All right, so I took two extra casualties. But that is going to be the game. Let's see. I took all objectives and a decisive victory. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to continue with the entire grand campaign. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, or subscribe. And stay excited about history. See you guys next video.